Hey there students, um, on this clip we're going to be going over um, some examples on synthetic division. So um, let's try out the first example. Um, the first example, number one, always you're asked to divide, divide the polynomial 3x to the third plus 5x squared plus 2x plus 5 by the binomial x plus 3. So how will we, will we do this using the synthetic division? So first thing we're going to have to do is make sure that um, all the coefficients are present and that no degrees are missing. So if I look at this, um, you look at the degrees, make sure no degrees are missing. So um, this degree is, you have 3, they have to go from the highest degree all the way down to, down to 0. So it's good to make sure that um, it's written in standard form with the degrees in descending order, so it's easy to determine if there are any missing um, degrees. So we have 3, 2, 1, 0, so nothing is missing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to extract all the coefficients of each term, and I'm going to place it, write it down separately. So I'm going to have 3, 5, 2, 5, okay? And then I'm going to make my synthetic division bar. This is how you construct it. There are different ways of constructing it, but I like to construct mine like this. All right? And now, whatever you're dividing by, you take the opposite. So you have x plus 3. So if I say that equal to 0, subtract 3 from both sides, x equals negative 3. This is what I'm going to use to divide uh, my, my binomial coefficients by polynomial coefficients. So I'm going to put, uh, I'll put a negative 3 right here negative 3. So what you're going to do is you start from nothing. You have not, nothing down here, so you always put a 0, okay? So this is the rules for synthetic division. The rule is you will always add downwards and multiply across. Okay, you repeat this algorithm over and over again, then you get your answers. Add down, multiply across, okay? So what on earth does that mean? Starting from this 3, I'll add it to nothing, which is 0. Add down, which is 3. And I'm going to multiply this one multiply this by this and put the answer right underneath the 5. So 3, negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Repeat the process again. You add down. These two, you add them down. You're going to have negative 4. And you multiply across again. So multiply this negative 3 by this negative 4 and then you get, you get 12. Alright? And you add down again. 14. Multiply across. You're going to get negative 42. So you always multiply this term, this number out here with whatever is on the bottom, and you place it under the next column, uh, and you place it under the number in the next column, okay? And then you add down again, and then your answer is going to be negative 31. You draw a line separating the last term. Now, this right here is known as the depressed polynomial, okay? The name of this result you have right here is the depressed polynomial. The reason it's depressed is because it has lost one factor or one degree. So it's always one degree less than whatever you started with. So when I want to write down my answers, I just take 3. Instead of x to the third, it has lost a factor. So it's going to be 3x squared minus 4x plus 14. And guess what? This is your remainder. So your remainder is negative 31. Okay? So there you have it. Um, or you, yeah, or you can write it as, if you want, you can write it as, you can write it as 3x squared minus 4x plus 14, uh, negative 31 over what you are dividing by, which is x plus 3. So that's equally effective. All right, let's try another example, uh, number 2. What if we're asked to divide, divide um, 5x squared plus 2x to the fourth plus 5 minus 3x by uh, x minus 2, okay? So, if I do this, I have to write this in standard form with no degrees missing, so I'll start with 2x to the 4th, and then I don't have any cubes, so I need a placeholder, so for the cube, I'm going to write plus 0x cubed, and then uh, plus uh, this one, 5x squared, and then I bring down the x minus 3x plus 5. Okay? So you notice anytime you have a missing degree, you have to use a 0 as a coefficient for that. Now we have everything written in decreasing order. The, the powers written in decreasing order. 
and all terms accounted for. Now I can now create my synthetic division bar. So I'm going to extract the coefficients 2, 0, 5, negative 3, and 5. Create my synthetic division bar. And then don't forget, you don't just extract this 2 right here, you have to set it equal to 0, right? You set x minus 2 equal to 0. And then you're going to have x equals 2 by adding 2 to both sides. So this is what I'm going to be dividing by. All right, so put 2 here. The rule is as follows. You always add down and multiply across. Okay? So that's how it works. All right, so uh, we just add down and multiply across, as indicated here. So we start out with a 0 because there's nothing there. So we're going to add down 2 plus 0, 2. Multiply across 2 times 2, 4. Add down 2 times 2. Multiply across 8. And then add down 13. 2 times 3, 26. Add down. Uh, 23, and then 2 times 23, 46, and then uh, you add down 51, okay? So this is your depressed polynomial right here, don't forget to draw a line. Um, so it's depressed in the sense that it's going to be 1 degree less than what we started with. So you're going to have 2x to the third plus 4x squared plus 13x plus 23, remainder... 51. Okay? So there goes your answer. Or you can write it as um, 2x to the third plus 4x squared plus 13x plus 23 plus the remainder of 51 divided by what you're dividing by, which is um, x minus 2. Alright, so don't forget you always have to write the, the powers in decreasing order going from the biggest to the smallest and any power that's missing has to be filled in with the placeholder with zero as a coefficient. Okay? Alright, um, thanks for uh, viewing this uh, video. Uh, please subscribe to my videos for future updates and also feel free to request videos. For a collection of my clips, you can go to mad.serve.com. Have a wonderful day.